Hello, travelers! Welcome to Underground Library. I'm Hansel Lingo, a storyteller, and I'm Kumas in here. Last time we were talking about some kind of shop and store. It's about selling something sweet. So today we may going for some kind of restaurant, maybe. Please follow me, and we can have a chat together. Welcome to my room. Please take a seat and we can have a chat together. Last time we are talking about the shop that is selling the sweets and today we move on for the restaurant. However, for the restaurants in um, Cantonese or in Hong Kong, they have a lot of different kinds of restaurants. So today that will be the chapter one of some kind of restaurants you can find it in Hong Kong. We got it, of course, the restaurant, the vegetarian restaurant, Steakhouse, fast food restaurant, bar, takeaway shop, and food stall. Or some people calling them Dai Pai Dong. Okay. So for the restaurant in Cantonese is Chan Tang. Chan Tang. Vegetarian restaurant. So sick. Chan Tang. So sick. Chan Tang Big House Pa Fong Pa Fong Fast Food Restaurant Fai Cha Dim Fai Cha Dim Bar I think that is the most easy one In Cantonese that is Zhao Ba Zhao Ba for bar, if translate back to Cantonese, that will be zhao ba. Um, zhao is meaning for wine or any alcohol. That will be zhao. And bar is just using the pronouns of English. So if you are English speaker, it's quite easy for you to pronounce it. And for a takeaway shop, oi my dim, oi my dim. Food stall or Dai Pai Dong um, In English it's just pronounced Dai Pai Dong It's in the dictionary right now um, That is in Cantonese is Dai Pai Dong Dai Pai Dong Okay, about the talk of takeaway shop The most common now that they should be Lan Song Fan in English, people call it the rice with two sides or two dishes with rice. And in Cantonese, the name is Lang Song Fan. Lang Song Fan. Um, I know some people get an interesting nickname in Cantonese that um, they will translate Lang Song Fan in English to this, this rice or just translate the pronunciation to Lang Song Fan. Um, Lang Song Fan is nothing new in Hong Kong. It has been most popular among for money-saving person. They can have a really quick and affordable lunch and dinner as well. Especially while the COVID time in bands, most people were having a Lan Song Fan for their dinner. Because the price is affordable, it's quick. Is it delicious? I will say not all the shops are delicious, but at least not, not too bad. At least for Hamza, that is not too bad, but maybe if you are someone that looking for really high quality, of course not. They are just selling like $30 for, for, for a lunchbox. You, you can't expect too much. Um, but Hamza, I find out that is not common in the world for Lan Song Fan. But I find a really similar restaurant. Is it a restaurant? Anyway, a similar shop in the world that is called the... Uh, um, you can take a look of the icon. Because mm. they don't have given me any ad money or... I won't do the promotion for them at least. But the food items are quite... Different. <laughs> um, they, they, they are selling some kind of food that I never find it in here. So, mm, but they are having the similar thing. You can choose the rice and whipping two to three different dishes. For food style, Dai Pai Dong are a type of open air food style. 
That title literally means the big license style in Hong Kong, referring to the style license planes. So, if we're talking about for the big license in Hong Kong, that only have less than 30 official Dai Pai Dong in Hong Kong. Dai Pai Dong is often used generically to refer to any food style. Operating on the roadside with portable tables, chairs, and no air conditioning. Um, however, since 1975, many Dai Pai Dong have been moved into temporary markets. So today, most Dai Pai Dong is in the cooked food centers. One of the special points is Dai Pai Dong, you may need to share tables completely strangers when there is a shot of sitting. And that's, I think, is also a kind of reason Hamzi is not often to having Dai Pai Dong because um, I just I just scared to sharing table with someone I literally don't know it. and 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 quite interesting that I know a lot of my friend or some people I know it they were always having Dai Pai Dong like they were having once a week or some people if they looking for the gathering with friends and they can't think any ideas or having the hot pot they will go to Dai Pai Dong as well but for Hangzi I I think I just go for Dai Pai Dong like two times two to three times is not much I may be saying it's really less chance for I go to Dai Pai Dong I mean I I don't know why Hangzi Mama always feels that um, she she just don't want to bring me to Dai Pai Dong. Maybe she don't like it or my friend also don't like it as well. But I know that food in Dai Pai Dong is quite good. Especially they can um, they have provide some iconic food. For example, they have the congee, they have the milk tea, um, they have the fried rice or noodles with any like the roasted meats like char siu or they having some chiu chou style noodles as well you can find a lot of like the mostly people were saying the chinese food in dai pai dong and especially if you're going for a dai pai dong you can looking for some food that is with wok hei um, in english we call it wok hei I know if you are someone in the internet for a long time, you may know the terms of walk hey. In Cantonese, we call it that walk hey. Walk hey. Um, Dai Pai Dong is a great choice if you're looking for some kind of food that is with a walk hey. Walk hey is referred to the flavor and taste imparted by a hot walk on food during stir flying. And I will say the flavor is quite special, unique, and this is tasty, I love it. Um, and this is particularly important for those Chinese dishes requiring for the stirring heat. So these dishes should have a complex smoky flavor that is only achieved by the cooking fresh ingredients over extremely heat. So if you are someone who's looking for wok hei and you are lo- like, um, the fried rice or noodles, Dai Pai Dong is a good choice. So, do you have any food you love to have it in Dai Pai Dong? Or do you a fan of the takeaway shop and you prefer to having the Lang Song Fan? Um, if you're interested about the Cantonese or the culture, please like, share, and subscribe my channel. And don't forget to follow my Twitter, I will update my daily life in there. I'm Hansel Lingo, and I see you next time. Bye.